Hey, what's up guys? Spears here. Welcome back to another Skyrim mod episode. And uh, today I have a pretty cool um, bow pack for you and arrow set. Um, now, that might not sound too en enthusing, um, considering Dawn Guard came out uh, not too long ago. And that released crossbows and it kind of gave Skyrim a new feel, you know, because you, you got to use the crossbow and stuff. Um, now, there's been a bunch of crossbow mods and stuff, but not many, you know, good bow mods like to... Well, not bow mods, just bow retextures or bow enhancements at all just hasn't been any because everybody's so focused on the crossbow but somebody made a, a big bow pack which is awesome I, I love it I just went through all the bows um, <clears throat> the arrows are also pretty badass looking um, so I'll just go over the arrows first uh, the first arrow set or pack you have is the uh, the crow heavy um, and it looks really cool on the back because it's like got a sword going through it as well as you know what maybe I should just take this armor off there we go oh well pff, goes through my back anyways great <laughs> great good start good start Spears thanks man thanks but uh, yeah it looks really cool from the front at least too because I've never really seen that before where you can have an arrow and sword on your back um, actually wait <clears throat> can you do that no I don't think yeah you can actually I don't know I think it looks cool just to uh, start off with um, <coughs> kind of losing my voice. Fantastic. Um, the next one you have is Crow Light, which is, uh, I don't really know the difference. I think the difference is it just doesn't have a sword going through it. Um, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, the next one is Daedric Sword Arrows, which, um, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's, it's a Daedric Sword. Uh, well, here's one of the bows, and you pull it, and you shoot, and it's a Daed Daedric Sword. <laughs> Well, wow. oh jeez, that's cool. I didn't actually know you could do this. I mean, I've seen dildo arrows, but I haven't seen Daedric sword arrows. Awesome. So yeah, when you pull it, it's a Daedric sword, and then you shoot it. Boom! Still a Daedric sword. <coughs> awesome. Um, all right. So the next set, oh, next, not next set. Uh, the next ones we have are dwarven ballistas. A uh, holy mother of Jesus. <laughs> What? What? They look like like d tank trap spikes. That's kind of ridiculous. That's awesome. I mean, not ridiculous, but what the hell? Look at that. You have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger to pull that back. It's like a goddamn longbow. I don't. I don't even know. That's really cool, though. Actually, you know what? Let's let's shoot a dummy and go see what it does to the dummy. Did it just go through him? Oh god, no! It's stuck in his neck. Holy shit! It went right through him. That's cool. Huh. Alright. So, next arrows we have are dwarven power arrows. Um, basically just dwarven arrows that look a little cooler. See? Wow, that went right through. What? I, if I shot like an iron arrow at that, it would not go right through. Um, and then you have glass powered arrows. Uh, basically just glass arrows that look really, really... Alright, so that's awesome. Game just crashed. Um, so maybe we'll stay away from the glass power arrows. Uh, next one you have is uh, Parthenax Fangs. And Parthenax was that um, big dragon in the main quest line. Um, I'm not actually showing you guys the... Uh, oh wow, that looks really cool. The actual bows, yeah, I'm just showing you the arrows. Um, so it's basically just dragon bones like woven into like the shape of a tooth with feathers on the end. Um, pretty cool though. Um, <clears throat> the next one is steel power arrows. Steel power arrows. Holy mother of nipples. Look how big those are. That's what she said. But look. Look at it. God, I'm immature. Those look really cool. They're basically just like swords. Daggers on the end of arrows. That'd be so painful. <laughs> God. I don't even know if that would work. Um, Alright, so that's all the arrows. Um, arrows aren't really much. You know. They're just regular arrows. Kind of. Except for the ballistas, literally. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the the bows themselves now. Um, first bow we got here is the Daedric Wing L. Um, now I'm not sure what the the letters at the end stand for, but um, this one is probably one of my favorites, to be honest. Uh, it's got like a Daedric sword covering your hand when you when you grab your uh, your bow, and um, I don't know, it just looks really like I don't even know. Awesome. Could you imagine wearing this with like Daedric armor? That'd be really cool. But yeah, that is the Daedric 
uh, wing L, and this is the Daedric wing S. Uh, basically, just takes away the shield. Um, I, I kind of like this one too. Kind of just looks like a regular Daedric bow. So this I'm not really a, a fan of this one. Not one of the best ones in this pack. Um, then you have the Dwarven Hero Bow, which is also really cool. Um, as you can tell. Let's see how the ballistas look with that. <laughs> oh jeez, here we go. Oh jeez, look at that. It is like a log. It's like you're shooting a tree. It's really cool. Alright, so let me switch back to like a normal... Nice that one. Um, then you have the Elven Sword Wing S. Take that out here. This is basically Elven, uh, as you guys know already. Um, it's a, it's. It, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's just got daggers going through it, which is okay, I guess. Um, he made a lot, a lot more, you know, intricate ones than one like this. It's, it's basically just daggers going through the top. Uh, I couldn't do it, so you know. Let's see, Sword Wing L. Um, I, I like this one more than the S, to be honest. It's got a little more design to it. Uh, let's see if I can get a better look here. And then go this way. Here we go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, actually. I like this one. I like the color scheme. It's cool. Um, Alright, so we have the Glasswing L here. Um, <clears throat> now this one's really cool. If you guys can see, it's got like a guide, like that uh, axe there kind of guides the uh, the arrow a little bit. And you shoot it. And in first person, when you get to like these big bows here, you can't really see all of it in, in first person. You can see like the top there, which looks really cool. Um, but yes, let's go see. Uh, we have the glass wing S, which is small. I think the L stands for large, and the S stands for small. And this one looks just a little better. It's still really like big. It's bigger than any bow, like in the game that was you know originally in the game. Um, then you have the Hag's crossbow. Uh, Hag's crossbow. Wow. All right. Good job. So there's Hag's bow, um, and that's what these arrows go with too. Where are they? Uh, the Parthenex arrows, I believe. Oh no, the crow. Mm, yeah, the crow bows, arrows. So yeah, they got like the feathers on the end of them and stuff too. Now this is probably one of my favorite bows to be honest. It kind of looks like um, Death from Darksiders 2 would use this bow. I've actually never played Darksiders 2. I played Darksiders 1. It was, it was really good. Um, then you have the Homage to Parthenax. This bow is ridiculously big. Listen, if you put it on your back, boom. It's like Insta Shade Protection. Or Sun Protection. Don't even... Look at this. Boom. In the shade right now. Then you turn back to the sun. Not in the shade. So it's basically like walking around with an umbrella on your back. But... It's uh, it's pretty deadly looking. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's got a dragon's head, and the arrow comes out of the dragon's head. Can't really see much in in first person. It's kind of just all blocked because you have a huge dragon head in front of you. But I mean, who shoots a, a bow in first person, anyways? Other than me, you know? A lot of people. What am I saying? Uh, <laughs> then you have Mayoru's commando, um, which is really cool. As you can see, you, like when you put it on, you have a, a skeleton hand. You see that right there? Your hand turns into a skeleton. Well, it doesn't turn into it. It just is because um he's got skeleton hands around it. So it kind of looks like you got skeleton hands. It's pretty cool. Um, then you have the Meru's collection, and this one is also pretty ridiculous, but it looks really badass. It's it's it's, it's like spinal cords and like skeleton heads and mouths and hands and arms and stuff. It's I ridiculous. Seen you before. But, um, yeah, I think that... Oh, no, no, that's not all, actually. I still have a couple more. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the S SAC Ballista. Let's get the Ballista arrows out. Maybe this will look better. Holy mother of God. <laughs> it's a big... That's a big bow. It's probably one of the biggest yet. Let's see. Does this look right? Yeah. That just looks right, doesn't it? It's... Oh, wow, that's cool. It actually fits through, like, little holes there. It's actually awesome. So yeah, now I think we found what the um, the ballista arrows go to. They go to the uh, S SAC ballista bow. Um, <clears throat> Alright, here's the bow. So you can get rid of the um, <laughs> ballista arrows. There we go. Oh wow, that's cool. You got like a little aiming holes there, kind of. You can keep, kind of see through it. Or you can use that one and look and be like, alright, there's a guy. And then... It's pretty cool. Is that, is that, what, a, is that what a bow makes? 
I don't think it makes a gun sound. Good job, Spears. Good job. Um, then you have the Steel Wing S. <clears throat> Basically just a regular bow with a bunch of swords coming out the top of it and stuff. I don't want to underplay it because I would never be able to make something like this, but it still looks really badass, to be honest. Like, you could flip this over and use it as a weapon, like, sing, sing, you know. Oh, well. Look at the ballistas just going right through. That's ridiculous. Alright, and then the next bow is the Wrath of the Forsworn, which is also really cool. I've actually never seen this bow or used this bow in game. I think it's a Forsworn, Forsworn bow, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, great. Let's see, do those go through? Yep. Alright, so <laughs> here's some of the arrows that I shot, and here's more of the arrows that I shot. The crow arrows. Crow. Alright, so yeah, uh, let's just go over them really quick. Uh, Wrath of the Forsworn, which is pretty cool. Um, leave a comment on what you guys think is your favorite bow. Personally, I like the, um, where is it? The um, Meru's Commando, because of, like, I, I just love Meru's Dago. He's a good, good god. He's badass. He's badass. Um, Wrath of the Forsworn, uh, Steel Wing S, SAC Bow, SAC Ballista which shoots the ballista rounds, the huge ones. Um, Meru's Collection, Meru's Commando, uh, Homage to Par Parthenax, which is the huge bow with the dragon's head on the front, uh, Hag's Bow, Glass Wing S, Glass Wing L, Elven Sword Wing L, Elven Sword Wing S, um, Dwarven Hero Bow, Daedric Wing S, and Daedric Wing L. So yeah, just post a comment what you guys' favorite is. Um, like I said again, mine is the Meru's Commando. Love it. Love it. Looks awesome. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, other than that, you guys, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed th that video, and, uh, yeah, more LCPDFR to come and stuff. And, uh, yeah, stay sexy, guys. Peace. Why do I end videos like that? I don't know. Peace. <laughs>